Hi, it's Skeeter here from Happy Travelers. I'm so excited to bring you our very first video. This video today is going to be talking to you about the Sundance Film Festival, which just concluded. The Sundance Film Festival takes place every year for 10 days in Park City. It is an amazing event that you should be taking a part of, and let me tell you a few reasons why. For those of you who love movies, which I'm sure most of you love movies, if not, I don't know why you're watching this video, but for most of you, Movies are awesome and it's an experience for you to see some of the movies that you'll never be able to get to see in other venues. The Sundance Film Festival focuses on independent filmmakers. While some of the movies do get released out into broader audiences like Reservoir Dogs or March of the Penguins, some of them you'll never get another chance to see. Sometimes you get to see the world premiere, which means you're getting to see movies that nobody else has been able to see yet. It's also an opportunity for you just to see short films and documentaries that just don't make it out to mainstream movie outlets. After each movie, the cast and crew get up and do a Q&A, which is an opportunity for you to see kind of the behind the scenes of what went into making the movie. My very first year at Sundance, I got an opportunity to see a movie that was from Korea. It was called Vegetarian. At the end of the movie, I wasn't really in love with it. I didn't dislike it, but it wasn't my favorite movie ever. But then after that, it showed the cast and crew came out and talked about the movie and after realizing some of the decisions they made about certain plot lines and some of the things that the actors went through to make the movie I had a much deeper appreciation for it and made me realize about why things like the Sundance Film Festival are so important. So I've gone to the film festival three times, uh, 2010, 2012, and 2013, all three times as volunteers. And some of the things that I've been able to do as a volunteer are, well, I always work in the theater. That's my personal preference, but you can work in things like the gift shops, the music venues, working in PR, transportation, all those different things. Within the movie theater um, venues, you get to do things like tear tickets, usher, but you also get to help with red carpets, green rooms, helping celebrities and things like that, which is kind of fun. Um, which, if I was telling you that it, Sundance wasn't partially about the celebrities, I would be lying, but that's what, partly what you get to do. You also get so many amazing benefits. So this jacket from 2012, you get the volunteers, all volunteers get jackets, Kenneth Cole jackets, all sorts of swag stuff, not hipster swag, but stuff we all get. And so you get jackets, gloves, scarves, you get free movie passes to see movies, and you also, if you volunteer a certain number of hours, get passes for family and friends. You get um, tickets to the volunteer party, which is awesome. It's the coolest party I've ever been to. And the award show, you get um, little vouchers for food. You get to go to all the music venues and some of the art installations that are there. The transportation in Park City is free, which means you're not paying to get run all over the city. There's just lots of really great benefits to doing it. If you're not from the Park City area, there's a good chance you might get lodging. So if you live in the Park City area or have family or friends that live in the Park City area that you can stay with, you're not going to get lodging. But if you're from coming from outside the area, which lots of volunteers do, come from all over the world, there's a chance you'll get free lodging. Basically have this world-class experience at one of the best events in the world for basically just nothing. It's impossible to be. Now that you're like, well, why have I not been doing this forever, let me tell you a little bit about what it takes to be a volunteer. Well, first of all, what they're looking for in volunteers are people who are friendly, flexible, and like movies that are passionate about that sort of thing. So the festival goes for 10 days and it's almost 24 hours. So they need people who are willing to work evenings, work early hours, you know, and doing whatever it is they need to do. So if you're like, oh, I don't want to work late or work early or work outside or in the cold, you're probably not going to get to be a volunteer. But if you're willing to be flexible and do what they need to do, there's a good spot you'll get a shot. Because they're looking for people who can be thrown into a mix where you're working with dozens of people that you've never met before, that you don't know, and do a good job and be a good team and be friendly and support and represent Sundance well. And you need to like movies. I mean, you also just need to be passionate, I think. That's my purse, that's me saying that, but be passionate about why they're doing that. You don't have to volunteer for the whole till, for full 10 days. I think you can volunteer for as little as four. And so you can do it on two different weekends or do it, you know, space it out so that you have an opportunity to go do some of the other things you want to do. Um, but you need to be flexible still to do that. And I guess talking about the experience of being a volunteer besides all the seeing all the movies, you're going to see so many movies. If you volunteer for the full 10 days, you're going to see probably at least 50 movies or short films in those 10 days. You're gonna be so bombarded with films. 
One thing to note that I did not think about or realize after until I volunteered was how tired I was getting to be. Show up, super excited, going, 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 and you're gonna go all day long and see movies and run all over town and then you're gonna go work an eight hour shift and go sleep for two hours and then start all over again and repeat and repeat and repeat. First day you're running around like, yeah, movies, and then by the end you're like, <sighs> so tired. But it's definitely worth it. I don't know anybody that at the end they're like, ah, I didn't really like it. In fact, a big portion of the volunteers are alumni and come back every single year, which is why I've done it three times and why I'm planning on going back again next year. So if you're thinking about being a volunteer and hanging out with us there, start looking for applications go out in August, September-ish. That's when the applications start to open. We'll put uh, the link to that in the description below. When you apply, they'll, you know, they'll call you and talk to you and do a little interview with you to see you about who you are. Just be honest, but also know that you're going to have to be flexible. You know, they're going to do the best they can to put you where you want to be or do the shifts that you want to do, but they may not be able to and that you have to be flexible. You might be the guys that are out in the snow helping people find where they're supposed to be going and directing traffic or managing the lines and things like that. You might be working in a theater when you really wanted to work in PR. Well, that's just kind of the way it is. But no matter what you're doing, we all get the same perks. You all get to go see movies. You all get to spend the whole time in Park City, which is beautiful anyways, but you know, some of the best experiences I've had were were up there in Park City and some of them weren't even to do with the festival. And when I met Sean White, he was up there doing some sort of snowboarding thing, but that was cool. And all the movies I've been able to see, some of the best movies I've seen, I've seen at Sundance. And some of the best movies, some of your favorite movies probably came out of Sundance and never even realize it. Those are really great movies coming out that you're gonna be the first ones to see and kind of get a backdrop on going to Park City. With that, we'll put all the information for how you can be a volunteer and, sun and support the Sundance Film Festival in the descriptions. Please feel free to leave comments about other videos you'd like to see. Um, like we said, this is our very first one. Just let us know what you want to see. And yeah, thanks for stopping by Happy Travelers and so long.